Professor Hlengiwe Mkiza has been hailed as a selfless public servant who puts the interests of others first. Professor Mandla Makanya says Mkiza involved all stakeholders during her tenure as higher education minister. He says Mkiza also contributed immensely to academia without making a noise. She was a trailblazer, more of a comet shining bright in the dark period of student neglect and unrest. This was a spirit nurtured not in the stratosphere of the ministries that Kabazela served. She made an unparalleled contribution to our South African society. ANC Treasurer General Paul Mashadile says the passing of the Deputy Minister Mkize has left a huge void in the party. He says Mkiza contributed to the crafting of the party's resolutions and their implementation in government. We shiver in the cold and dark for in Comrade Lengu Mkiza's passing, the sun that warmed and brightened the lives of many has set. Death has robbed us of a, a cadre who exhibited some of the finest qualities required by our movement causing us to shiver in the cold and dark. We will always remember Comrade Lengue as a humble and dependable servant of the people of South Africa. She was a person of principle, a well-rounded pedagogue, a scholar, a critical thinker, an intellectual of note as well as a sharp an eloquent contributor in shaping the policies and programs of our movement and our government. Minister in the Presidency for Women, Youth and Persons with Disability, Maidinko Wana Mashaba, and hailed Mkiza as a public servant that served the public until the end. She says Mkiza wanted to work even whilst she was in a hospital bed. Professor Bose, thank you, Mkiza saved us pain and you Bob Mkiz Kabazel when uh, you and the children and the family know more than we do but she really did not want to make her pain to be a pronouncement of each and every event and so on and so on she wanted to continue serving. The Deputy Minister will be laid to rest at the Four Ways Memorial Park on Saturday, leaving behind a rich political history and a lasting contribution to the emancipation of black women. Sam Masego, SABC News, Johannesburg.